Not really sure how to start this one. This one isn't gonna be as sad as my last one, which is good. But I've decided that I'm gonna start doing a monthly vlog, I guess is what it would be, for my personal friends and family here on Facebook to worry all privacy setting as you only can friends can see it and whatnot. Since I don't really post anything personally on social media anymore, unless you're on my Snapchat and it's still that's just my stupid, you know, sharing stuff. But I think this is the best way I can like recap a whole month so people can stay up to date who I know care about me, but I'm not as close with. Because I know I am hard to get a, a hold of sometimes, and you know that's just part of what I'm going through. And you know, like you don't take offense by it by any means, please. It's just my process. I go through spurts where I talk to absolutely nobody, and to where I even I have a hard time even wanting to spend time with my children. But right now, I'm you know, not to sound, you know, redundant, but I'm pretty high on life, and it could be just a manic episode, which they're starting to be longer and longer now that, um, it's been two, three, I maybe even four months since I started taking my medication and whatnot, and, um, but the downside of taking the medication is when it all does hit, because, you know, depression and anxiety are somewhat hereditary. It's not like gene driven, but from what I understand, it's more situational. And, you know, past traumas you gotta work through and, and fully understand, you know, why you feel the way you feel. And it's a very interesting journey and you do have to have an open mind and um, and really hold yourself accountable. And I've been going to, you know, like talk therapy or whatever and, and seeing, you know, seeing doctors for my medications and whatnot. And, um, you know, things have been looking up uh, right now I can say that I am officially self-employed. Today was my last day at my former employer as a household mover. I am now fully self-employed. I am still in the moving industry. I just do what we call third-party services. Or just a quick example is, say you have a pool table. I would come in and take apart the pool table and put your pool table slate in crates so it can be safely moved by the movers. Or if you have a thin glass top table or a very expensive paint oil painting or painting, you know, I crate those up and uh, like disconnect washers and dryers or reconnect them. You know, that, that nature of, of of the moving industry. And if you're not in the moving industry, it's all gonna be mumbo jumbo, so I'll, I'll cut that. And then my AC just kicked on, so hopefully it doesn't stay on too long. But, um. This is a couple days, this being filmed is a couple days after June 5th when I attended the uh, Grizzly Pro Wrestling. Uh, I had an incredible time, everybody I worked with was great. Uh, I met tons of new people, and um, really enjoyed my match that I had with the three with the three other guys. And then, you know, as you know, multi-man matches are a pain to try to put together and whatnot. And you know, yes, I had some slips, and you know, I made a slip or whatnot. But, I mean, I mean it is what it is. We're all learning, and. Um, 
I know I'm ranting a lot, and I'm gonna try to not make these so long. I know this one's gonna be long, but I just want to be as transparent as I can and hit a vast audience of my peers. So everybody knows I'm still okay and all that, and that if I don't answer right away, I'm most likely sleeping or working, because now being self-employed, I got I'm always on the clock. Because not only do I do the third-party service, I do the Uber Eats and you know DoorDash and all that kind of stuff too. Just because, as everybody knows, prices and everything keep skyrocketing, so I gotta do what I can to you know provide for my house and for when I have my kids. Because it's you know it's just me. And um, so, uh, long story short, even though this was probably super long. Um, in the future, I will try to shorten every, you know, shorten the videos and um, try to say um list a lot, like be more prepared. But if I did that, it wouldn't be as organic, and I'm more of an organic type of storyteller. If you've worked with me, you understand what I'm saying. Um, so, really, if you guys have any questions or concerns about my well-being as of this video I'm all good in the hood bro you know I'm kicking life into some bitch and ass and you know just you know grinding every day and taking life as it comes and uh, I just want everybody to know that even the strongest people not saying I'm a strong person as in mentally because that woo, but uh Mental health needs to not be a stigma anymore. It needs to be talked about. And I want it to make it socially acceptable, not only for everybody, but especially men, because of the double standards that we face in that capacity. So, um, if you're feeling down, I'd rather hear your story than read your obituary or attend your funeral. And as many people have said to me throughout my life, they want to die first. As in every relationship I've had, platonic and romantic, nobody's ever wanted me to die and they would have to go through that. They'd rather me more than them because they know I can handle it. So that's a catch-22. I may be able to handle it, but I don't want to watch or see everybody I know go before me. So all in all, be good. Prioritize yourself on top of everything else. If you have kids, yes, your kids are your priority, but you should also be your priority. You can draw the line, make the difference. You know, obviously take care of your kids. I'm not saying just neglect your kids for selfish reasons, but a lot of people put themselves on the back burner when you need to stay on the front burner. Because you are your own main course. You you are with you from the moment you're born to the moment you die. Make sure yourself is good. And hopefully you can give that away to others. So I know I said I was going to end this probably six, seven minutes ago. But all in all... Take care, be good to yourself, take care of yourself, you're loved, make sure your family's okay, make sure your kids are okay, and that even means your pets, and I guess stay tuned to my uh, Facebook shenanigans of wrestling until a month or so later when I post another one of these, and if you made it this far, I promise you it will be shorter next time. Till then.
I'm Andy Dillon, or two that you guys know me personally as Dillon. Much love.